it, it must have been obviously a very tough time as it was for all travel and tourism groups throughout the pandemic. How have you emerged as a stronger business? You know, we are, we are very, very happy with the dynamic as it is. Huh? I mean, we basically, uh, in Q2, as you just mentioned, back at the level of business of 2019. It's the first time ever that we are back to level of 2019. So we are back exactly where, uh, where we wanted uh, to be. And with the number that you described, I hear a significant improvement uh, of the EBDA, significant improvement uh, on the free cash flow. And the signs going forward are also, uh, you know, very, uh, very uh, encouraging. I mean, the business is coming back because everybody wants to travel. And so you see, in fact, the improvement across all segments, across all brands. You see, in fact, the international traveler, which has fundamentally doubled from last year to this year over the first semester. And you see on top of that, uh, which is uh, quite significant, uh, the business events, the large business events, something like the Mondial, the Automobile in France, or the Bauma uh, conference uh, in Munich. Uh, all these large events are coming back, and this is a very strong sign that it is not anymore in the recovery of our industry, something which is driven by domestic. It is something which is driven by domestic, but it's also driven today by international and is driven by business. And so the dynamic is extremely positive. And as you say, travel has absolutely bounced back, but other areas of the industry, like airports, like airlines, absolutely crippled by that demand. So how are hotels holding up? I think when it comes to my mind, the economic challenges, it's this tight labor market, labor issues, hiring and wage squeezes. Has that affected you? Yes, I mean, obviously it does. I think what, what the equation is for an hotelier today is between pricing and loading, right? How much do you price and how much do you load your hotel? In, in the situation as it is, our occupation rate is 13 points, 13 points, which is a big number, uh, lower than what it used to be in, at the same period of 2019. So we don't load the hotel the same way. At the same time, the pricing is 13% higher than what it used to be uh, you know, two years ago in 20, 2019. And so you've got that equation into which, in fact, people cannot fulfill fully the job that they would like to potentially fulfill by filling up their hotels. But there is an offset here, uh, which is your capability to price the rarity of the product. And so you're right also on what's happening uh, in, in airports. And that that goes the same direction, i.e. the fact that uh, the people cannot travel as easily as they would like, the fact that in the hotel there is not uh, the service that you may be willing to provide because you cannot find the people neither in the airport nor in the hotel is driving to a rarity of the product and hence the pricing power. And the pricing power has strongly increased uh, from Q2 uh, versus uh, Q1 of 2022. I mean, we've never seen prices that eye in our industry, uh, in places like Paris, in places like London, in places like Sydney, the prices at all-time record.